Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. Before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to see our future videos. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob and today I'm going to review our studios. Yes, studios with an S. Let me get a sip of coffee here. So I had a friend of mine, uh, Papa Drew, he calls himself, uh, has asked um, a little bit about my studio. And uh, uh, we've changed it a little bit. We actually have two. We have a, our original studio, which is an office in the other room. And I'm going to show you the video of that first. So without further ado, uh, I'll show you what we used to do and kind of our side studio first. So let's get started with that. So before I show you the big studio, I need to show you the mini studio. So this is actually back in the day when I just did RV talk radio. This was the uh, mixer I used uh, to do that. And, uh, but I put my better microphone out in the main studio. Here I'll do uh, some of my short videos. I also have a special camera for doing close-ups, like if I was looking at coins or I was doing scratch tickets once and I have this special camera that looks down and can do micro kind of pictures and I can still narrate. So I use a very um, basic mic microphone in here to do shows. Um, a lot of times when I, I'm not recording my face, if I'm just doing audio, this is a great little setup. I just use a basic laptop and uh, <clears throat> podcast from here for just very simple shows so uh, this was uh, where we originally started and then later on we expanded and created a studio so let's move on to that quick note people this is a special insert I put into this video some people have said uh, that's never seen this before it was like what do you what do you do with your studio so I, I want to we own good talk radio so we use this for shows for that we do three or four podcasts. We do RV Talk Radio, Arizona Talk Radio, Paradigm Chimes, and then sometimes we want real news. We'll do shows like that. So that's what we use our equipment for. Podcasting, you don't need all the visuals. But uh, uh, my very first podcast was RV Talk Radio, and it grew to a really good size. And so I invested a little more money into good microphones and stuff. So. To answer the question, that's <laughs> that's what we use it for, and obviously we're using it for this show. So anyway, guys, uh, let's move on. Okay, we're back, and so we're back to the big studio. And uh, what the big studio is, is uh, a lot of people, if you have houses, you probably have a big formal living room, right? <laughs> and you never use it. And so we do. Uh, ours is a studio. And we also store a lot of... Uh, Ranger Rob booby bags in here too. And uh, what you see is so different than what the studio really looks like. So what you're seeing me on right now is a G40 camera and a green screen behind me. And I just put a little wood, oh, it looks like I'm in a cabin kind of thing going on here. But uh, I actually set up a second camera, a little HD camera that will give you a totally different perspective. Um, so to do a show like this, um, you could just have a camera and, and do live streams and stuff like that. But uh, to do more of a mix and to bring in people on Skype and to do slideshows and stuff like that, you need a little bit more advanced software. I use XSplit. Uh, other people use OBS, I think it's called. It's a free piece of software. Um, XSplit isn't. Anyway, uh, I like XSplit, just kind of been easy to work with. I had trouble with OBS. And so uh, anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna switch my camera over to the little, uh, you can actually see it right here. Uh, so this is a little HD uh, camera, uh, really neat camera to use because it plugs right in and there's no configuration at all. Uh, I'm gonna move it to different parts. So it might be a little bouncy, but uh, if I had a camera person, it'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me switch the camera so you can see what I actually see. Here we go. There it is. So 
you know, it looks totally different, doesn't it? <laughs> so you'll notice even our table, we have a green cloth on there because not only do we record podcasts and live shows from here, um, and I'll move the camera so you can see more in a minute. We also film the, uh, the turds, uh, puppet family. And so, uh, in order to do that, we sometimes have puppets or, uh, you'll see, uh, we have a, uh, a Muppet that does, uh, plays the drums. <laughs> And this is where we'll place his drums and stuff like that. And, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you may, <laughs> I have a pile of, pile of Muppets behind me too. It looks kind of creepy anyway. Uh, but here, uh, this is the main screen. Let me move my mic so you can see that I can see the same thing you see. Um, but typically, uh, uh, my software back there on that big screen will tell me what's going on. The, um, I uh, hopefully you can see my mouse the laptop you see in front of me will often run if we're watching uh, doing a live show and we might want to uh, watch the chat from here if we want to we can do it on this on a split screen um, and also if we're doing a live show and we're looking something up on the internet we could do it on this particular laptop this uh, uh, keyboard in front of me controls my big con uh, big computer uh, there's always wires going everywhere this is our mixer this is a six channel mixer off to my left here right there and it can um, I actually can I run th up to three mics at this table only because of room but I could actually run more I also run our phone system uh, through one of the channels so I can literally just uh, take a, a cell phone plug it into this uh, uh, mixer and I can actually run the phone calls through our shows if we wanted to. Uh, of course, I'm always editing here. So we always have cameras laying all over the place. This is a, a typical uh, camera we use for mo uh, mobile uses. It's a Hero 3. It's been a very tough camera, but they're getting tuckered out. I love to have, uh, <laughs> feel free to donate um, uh, Hero 7 with the stabilization but uh you know i i hate th you know i hate throwing away or getting rid of a, a camera that's been serving us well we have two of these and uh i actually had one die this one actually wore out and luckily my son had another one so uh, uh i don't know where i put his <laughs> it's here somewhere but uh, uh we have we usually sometimes will run two gopros if i'm doing a cooking show or something um, this particular mic is a very nice mic. It's called a, uh, uh, it says Heel, H-E-I-L. This was a $600 setup. Um, I've been doing podcasts for a long time, so it, I justified doing, um, you know, using a mic like this. For my guests and stuff, let's see if I can move one of these over. These are actually very affordable mics with booms that you can get between $39 and $49. Um, uh, this is, uh, one's a condenser mic, one isn't. And so you'll spend a little bit more for a condenser mic uh, that just tends to uh, keep the sound close to you. That's why you see us always lean so close to the microphones because the outside sounds, I actually have a television in the other room and you probably can't hear it because this microphone focuses within uh, this range and so if I step away it gets a little harder to hear me so that's why you always see people uh, talking close to their microphones we tend to put little screens in front of it to so you don't hear the <laughs> sound uh, when we're talking or we don't spit on our mics either <laughs> so uh, let me I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit here so I'll, I'll probably edit this so you don't see the turn but I'm gonna show you a little bit more of this desk okay so I turn the table I uh, turned the camera a little bit more you can see we have two more microphones here uh, so when we're doing a show people only see you know they see our house they actually just see a white wall and stuff um, if I move the camera back now I've moved the camera uh, back and up up here let's see if I can get my coordination right is our 
Canon G40 camera. And uh, so let's tie it into the system. If, uh, if I switch this back real quick, you'll see that's the G40 camera. It's using the Chrome key, which uh, says the green screen behind me to uh, put whatever image I want. And I put that in there. So I'm going to turn the camera again, uh, put the camera in a different location. So you can see we have six sets of lights in here. So I'm going to move the camera in a funny angle and let you see the green screen. So hold on. Here we go. All right. So here's the next uh, way you can see our our studio here uh, you can see our big green screen back here I wanted to kind of let you be able to see our camera up here um, let's see if my mouse here that's where our G40 camera is we run four sets of lights against the green screen and what that does is we light up the green screen so uh, we can put emphasis on a photo that whatever I put in there uh, yes and that chair is for cinder <laughs> and she loves that chair and then the two lights in front of me are to light up our faces. So let me switch over back to this camera. And you can see the two umbrella lights are the ones that light up our individuals that are here at the table. And the lights behind us is lights up our green screen so we can put any picture we want on there. So let me go back. And you can see uh, um, it gets pretty busy here and gets kind of... Uh, uh, yep you still that's a very large green screen we have behind us and if i move let's see you can see in the corner is where we keep our muppets and so <laughs> the mupp in the muppet bag <laughs> anyway that's and you can also see over in the corner up there the drum set we use for one of our, our muppets and uh yeah so that's what our um, uh, studio looks like. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me, um, I'll do one more angle here for you to see. Hold on. Okay, that's my, my last angle here. Uh, that camera is not the best for what I want to show you, but you can kind of get see our green screen a little bit better. All of our electronics. Uh, the main camera is, uh, <laughs> kind of, you can't really see too well. There's a whole lot of <coughs> uh, USB connections and a hub in here. We actually uh, carry uh, two eight terabyte drives for backups and things like that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what we do. So let me go back. Anyway, uh, so recommendations to people. If you go on to start a podcast, you don't need all this stuff. Uh, the first studio I showed you is just fine for a podcast. Um, you don't have to go out and get the most expensive microphone out there. If you got a show and it's starting to perk up a little bit stuff, then I would highly recommend you invest some money into a good microphone because sound is everything. Then if you ever want to do live shows and green screens, uh, you'll find that you can get a green screen set up like ours. Let me switch over here real quick. You can get a green screen uh, like that and a set of lights for like 150 bucks. Then I added another set of lights. So maybe let's say a $200 investment at the most to get you started. Microphones, like I said, you can get the little microphones with booms already ready to go for $39 at a, at a Amazon. And then later on, um, if you think it's something you're gonna stick with, um, uh, go for it. <laughs> Uh, spend a little more money. The uh, uh, mixer, by the way, we use a, a, a Behringer and uh, been happy with Behringer's. Uh, we went to a six, I'm a, oh, I'm an eight channel, sorry, <laughs> eight channel. Uh, I started with a four channel and uh, I think I got one, two, three, four, five. Actually, I only have a six channel. I was just looking at the wrong numbers. So, uh, I can handle four people, one telephone line, and a spare for whatever I wanted. So I guess I could go up to five people if I really had to. But uh, yeah, so that's how we do it. Um, the mixers are important for blending, uh, one, controlling your sound, two, uh, especially if you want to take phone calls, you'll need a mixer. Uh, there's other units you could attach to your mixer for like 
sound effects and things like that. So there's a lot of crazy stuff you could do. But that's what we do. We're always expanding, looking for our new ideas. We might be primitive compared to other people, but uh, that's this is what works for us. And uh, if uh, we tend to do something more, uh, I'll add on to it, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wish we had more of an enclosure so we didn't have quite as much echo in the room. But you make do, you do what you can. Um, one step at a time, uh, get your show started, get a following. If it looks like something is going well, invest a little bit more money in it. But uh, other, other than that, have fun. <laughs> Just have fun. And uh, it really doesn't have to be that expensive. And if you've got a chocolate lab, make sure you give them their own chair. So I hope you enjoyed that little overview of our studio. Please feel free to leave questions in the uh, comments below. And thanks for watching. So we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.